It was hard to imagine what this place would be. But now look at it. It's teeming with life. So where do we go from here? That is a great question. I think we could expand, bring in even more species, as long as it's safe for everyone, guests and dinosaurs. It could be cool. Well, anyways, what is going on, guys? This is Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 and Chaos Theory mode here in Jurassic World Dominion. And as you just heard right there, yeah, so we're going to try and get up to five stars now, and we need 50 species. We saw this at the end of last episode. And uh, one of the things, oh, yeah, is this it right here? Are we going to get Plesiosaurus? Yeah, Plesiosaurus. So, yeah, you guys wanted me to make the lagoons and even the aviaries if we have the ability to do that. It shouldn't be too hard, I guess. Uh, let's, let's view the event on the expedition map. I forget if our scientists are, oh, yeah. So I need to give this guy a rest, but I'm sure the other people are able to. Yeah, look at that. E even overqualified enough to where it's 27% faster. Awesome. So we're going to get going to get the plesiosaurs there. Uh, I don't know how many were available, three or so. So hopefully we get at least one or two. I don't know if they could be uh, fine on just them themselves on their own. Right. But let's give that other guy a rest. There you go. Cool. And then. Uh, oh, yeah, we could hire more scientists. Do I want to do that right now? So what do we have right now? Uh, Actually, so yeah, look at that. It actually says at the top right there. Holy heck, that's actually really good. So, yeah, that's if I hire whoever I'm clicked on right here. Okay, so if I if I hire this person right here with the oh wow, look at that. Literally the first person right as I say that genetic specialist. Yeah, if I hire you, we're going to have 12, 12, 12 right there. It's going to be nice and even there. Awesome. So it increases genetics potential by eight or uh, by five and genetic skill by three. So that's not bad. But who else is available right now? Just so we know who's uh, available. Yeah, seems like this is fine. I think I'm going to hire her. I don't even know how to pronounce your name, so uh, I'm not even going to try or else I'll butcher it. So there you go. But anyways, yeah, last time we left off, we actually had a lot of progress done. As you guys saw, we have a uh, Ceratosaurus area over here, a Rarosaurus area over here. We even built more Ranger areas or uh, what are they called? Response facilities. We have one over here and that's a small hotel. Yeah, small hotel right there. Another Ranger uh, response facility right there as well. Uh, so we're probably going to put either another carnivore area here, which, by the way, aren't we supposed to get an Allosaurus here in just a minute? I think so. And then, yeah, I said last episode, yeah, there's one wall right here. I forgot to change over. So let's do that before I forget. There you go. Cool. I think we're still fine. Oh, yeah. And while editing last episode, I forgot to uh, actually change this. Let's do it one at a time, one panel at a time. There you go. Between the Stratosaurus and the uh, Herrerasaurus. Stratosaurus is nice and just laying down right there, so we don't have to worry about him uh, escaping, but... Oh, I'm being careful here. What if the goat escapes? <laughs> the goat sees that he has freedom, but no, he escapes from the Rarosaur area into the uh, Sarat, which, by the way, does he have the uh, live beef? I think he does, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah live, live prey feeder. Okay, yeah. But yeah, definitely want to have some really good uh, durability between the two of these right here, right? That way, I'm not too comfortable about it replacing that whole thing right there, but where is he? Oh, he's in the water. Okay, well, he's kind of far away with Herrera. They're, they're pretty fast little guys, so... Hopefully they don't go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He had, he just hunting down one of the goats. Well, hey, at least I distracted him. So now we can actually finish building this. And boom. There you go. Cool. Wait, hold on. One of the goats did escape. <laughs> hold on. I didn't see that. Was that that one actually come from the Herrerasaurus era? If, if so, then, hey, you're going to get killed by the Ceratosaurus now, huh? <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're trying to get the dinosaurs. Yeah, so I was going to do the uh, research for the lagoon, which I think we need to get the viewing platform, I believe, right? We saw this at the end of last episode. Yeah, staff is busy. Yeah, so they're getting the lagoon or uh, getting the plesiosaurs and this guy's resting right now. So whenever they come back, we can just say, oh, I just need two more minutes. Hopefully that's going to buy us enough time to do this, though. But let's see. Yeah, so they're, they're coming back right now. Live captured. We get all of them or we got two of them. OK, not bad. One evaded. Not that big of a deal, I suppose. Yeah, so give me two minutes. I wonder how many times I could do that. But yeah, now that they're back, they could actually uh, start researching the platform. And then I have to re research the lagoon afterwards. So let's see. Oh, wow. OK, so we have the and then, yeah, we have you as well. Yeah, I don't want to forget about you. So, yeah, we're actually uh, overqualified again. 19 percent faster. It's going to be done in a minute and a half, which is good because it takes two minutes. for The uh, whatever they call plesiosaurus again. But like I said, hopefully we could actually delay it another two minutes. That way we could actually research the plesiosaurus uh, area there. But. Oh, yeah, and aren't we supposed to get Dimorphons at a... Is this... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, well, a sighting of four plesiosaurs. Ooh. Well, we have six minutes to do this. So we have two of them right now. We have an opportunity to get up to four more. It's probably going to get only like two or three of them, right? So we might... Like, even then, we still have like five or so, and we need to get like 15 more dinos or something like that. I'm going to decline for right now because our scientists are kind of busy. One of them's resting right now. Yeah, let, let me just speed through all this right here. We're just waiting for the scientist research. There you go. That one just finished up right there resting. And yeah, this this guy needs to get a rest too. So let me give you a rest. Oh, yeah, I've got 
uh, while editing the video, I was like, man, I, I never went back over here and uh, configured all these over here. Actually start making more money, so. I also want to research some more, uh, there you go, leisure wear. I also want to research more uh, modules here, just so we can actually make even more money. Looks like fossil display is going to be the best one, right? Yep, awesome. And uh, let, me, let me just continue doing this over here. Whoa, 4200 right there for the selfie spot. Not bad. Awesome. It's about as good as it's going to get. Still some red right there, but hey, at least we're making about double, maybe even triple the profit we are making just a minute ago, right? But yeah, let, let me continue doing this over here and trying to make uh, as much money as possible so we could afford more stuff, right? All right, looks like the viewing platform just finished up. Now we can... Oh, wait, no, it just gives you the lagoon. I thought I had to research that and then research these. Okay, well, if that's the case, let's just pause right now. We have uh, 16, 16 seconds, that is. Let's figure out where we're we going to put these lagoons. Because I remember the plesiosaur was back in Dress Fallen Kingdom, one of the Chaos theories, not too long ago. And uh, it looks like I'm going to have to modify some of the stuff here. Yeah, getting rid of some of the terrain. Yeah, see, look at that, obstructed by the Taiga Rock. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of them by doing this, and then switching to this, then getting rid of them like this. Yeah, here we go. Cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, bulk demolish all that. There we go. Cool. Don't know if there's anything else in the way, but yeah, so we have, we have tons of room over here for like a... Uh, a lagoon. And I don't know, we, we could probably, like, if I put another carnivore area, like, say, right here, we could probably put a uh, an aviary right here. Yeah, then we could have it, like, kind of circle around, you know? Have some really good visibility and whatnot. Yeah. That could work out really well, but let's put the lagoon over here, if I remember correctly, like I was saying a minute ago. The, uh, wait, in water, what does that mean? How's it in water? I got rid of all the water here, didn't I? thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Hold on, let me, let me, Try and fix the terrain here. Uh, maybe there was like a puddle or so last uh, left over. I don't know. Uh, but let's let, let's make this just too wide and, and leave some room for a viewing gallery and stuff here. Uh, probably need a hatchery too. Uh, so let's see. Probably by like this because you can see where you can build the second layer or whatever. Right? Yeah, like that. So there it goes. So that's that's basically like lining up with this pathway over here, which is good. So we can start building that. And uh, we have how much? Sixteen seconds there. If it lets me delay in another two minutes, I think I will. Let's see, is it going to let me delay another two, or do I have to do it, like, right now? Let's see. Okay, two more minutes. Okay, uh, thank you very much there. Uh, so, speaking of, uh, what do they call it, plesiosaurs, which, by the way, we do have more room over here. Like, if I get those other plesiosaurs, we could always expand this to be bigger. But, speaking of such, whoops, that was the wrong map. Let's go to the expedition map, try and find out where those other plesiosaurs are. Where are they, uh, Alexandria? Oh, wow, they're all the way over there, golly. Oh man, some of the, yeah, they, and we need to do more uh, scientist rest right there. But yeah, so we can take more scientists right now. We're actually just barely qualified, like exactly qualified to go over here and get those plesiosaurs. It's not going to be any faster than usual, but hey, at least we still get them, right? But there you go. And uh, yeah, we, we already bought ourselves plenty of time to build that lagoon right there, which is awesome. And the lagoon finished, by the way, so. And lagoon viewing stand, awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot, yeah. That's probably about as good as that's going to get. That, that covers like 90% of it, right? Yeah, either there or there. Yeah, I think I'll do it there. And then if I need to expand, I don't know if I need to expand it out more, I can always do it there instead of it. Yeah, you know what? Let's put it here. Yeah, this this seems fine here. OK, let's put that there. I'm going to put a uh, thing down to power it, though. So let me take care of that, too, as well as like I said earlier, I think I need to put a uh, hatchery down as well, because uh, I think that's where the rangers are able to like service it and whatnot. Right. So I think I need to do a hatchery. So let me uh, find that real quick. If you're a hatchery, lagoon hatcheries, yeah. So I think, I, I'm not 100% sure if I do need this, but I'm, I'm just going to get it anyways, just in case, right? So if that's the case, I guess I'll put it like, oh, I could just barely not put it there, man. I don't know, let me, let me get rid of the pathway. I'll, I'll rebuild it after I build the hatchery there. So let me try this. Yeah, look at that, right there, awesome. And then we'll probably put the uh, the feeder right there. Can I do that from here or feeders? And then uh, it's probably this one right here, marine fish feeder. Yeah, I'll probably put it like right here, honestly. Just so it's like right next to the crowd, right? So they, they always have a reason to come over here and look at the crowd. Yeah. So there you go. So I think we have that set up. I'm going to have to rebuild the pathways over here. There you go. Not bad. All right. Oh, and then I have to put a pathway over here and get that set up as well. Awesome. Yeah, it seemed like the guest crowding thing uh, was, a, was a problem a minute ago, right? Yeah, we're at 119. Okay. So we're at 119 now, 119, which they did say we're not going to have like a bunch of guests or anything like that, right? So do I want to upgrade? I think I need to research it, right? Let me figure that out. And by the way, do we have enough capacity over at the... Uh, where did I put the power station at, by the way? <laughs> did I put that, uh, is that? It is, yeah, it's at capacity right now, actually. Yeah, it's at 50, I'm going to have to build another one of those, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Puzzle piecing it in with the other one right there. Awesome. 
Might try and hide it as well with some trees here in just a minute, but man, that's like all sunken into the ground and everything there. Man, ah, it looks like trash. <laughs> Let me try and make this look pretty, though. Uh, at least that's better than nothing. Maybe try and squeeze out. Oh, whoa! Dinosaur delivery, awesome! Okay, yeah, let's transport those two plesiosaurs that have been delayed twice. <laughs> yeah, put them over here and over there. There you go, cool. And we have the Pisivore feeder, although didn't... Oh yeah, that's for stuff like the Spino and stuff like that. Although I don't know if they're going to give us a Spino. I guess we'll wait and see, but... For right now, yeah, let me try and smooth out the land right here. And then uh, the other four... Yeah, it looks like about 40 more seconds until the other four plesiosaurs. Or like two or three or however many yeah, we actually get from that expedition come back. And we could add those to the lagoon as well and see whether or not we need to make it any bigger. Or those uh, four or so plesiosaurs we're probably going to have in here in just a minute. But yeah, it's going to get our number up to, we're at 39 right now. Yeah, it's going to help out quite a bit, you guys. If we get those dimorphodons like we had at the end of last episode, another uh, like expedition or whatever, and set up an aviary, yeah, we're probably going to have this mission done really quickly, you guys. Oh, here he goes. Is this it? Uh, it's not the Dimorphodons, but it's something else. Maradactylus. We have six of them. Ooh, that's going to help out tremendously. Let's decline it right now, then go back to the map here in just a minute, because our scientists are busy. Oh, wait, no, are they busy? Because I think some of them are, were resting earlier, but it looks like they finished up. Hold on, yeah. Is this it right here? It is. Okay, do we have the scientists? Yeah, it looks like we have the scientists available, but yeah, it seems like because they're over in Egypt, I can, no I can only do one uh, expedition at a time, unfortunately, so we'll have to wait for them, which is only seven seconds. Yeah, they're going to be done here in just a second. Yeah, it looks like four plesiosaurs. Yeah, we only got two of them right there. Man, wait, at least we got two of them. I'm not going to complain about that. We can put them in here, and hopefully it's going to help out the uh, the numbers and whatnot. Or, I'm like, it will. Yeah, we're up to 41 out of 50, but look at this. We got a plesiosaur here. Awesome. Super tiny compared to the one back in Ark Survival Evolved, right? But the other, wait, what in the world? I was trying to switch over to the other, uh, did they ever drop off the second one? Or is it just one? I don't know, but yeah, let, let me get the rangers assigned over here. So they, uh, yeah, I knew I needed a hatchery there, yeah. So now we have a ranger set up there, so they're gonna check upon them, like so. Where's the other one at? Is it just this one? Oh, we had two of them in here. And this one right here, yeah. So are they at, uh, Perfect. looks like they need a little bit of open space, a little bit more area. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about just a minute ago, especially when we had four of them. Yeah, seems like, and yeah, look, there's another one right there just got dropped off. Awesome. At least I kind of made it where we could expand it. So let me see if I could do that while we have that fish feeder right there. I might need to get rid of it here in just a second, but let me just keep spamming here and hopefully I can actually, oh wait, there we go, I got it. Awesome. Okay, well, hopefully it's going to be good. Um, The visibility of this is actually going to cover that, so that's good. It's probably like 75% coverage right there, honestly. A little bit of a corner right there that you can't really see, but we could probably put another viewing gallery there if we were, or like right here, if we really need to. But I do want to set down some more, uh, or maybe even research some uh, some other. Oh, yeah, I was going to get the, uh, whatever that thing was over in. Yeah, let's get these guys before this expires in three minutes. It looks like two more scientists need to have a rest, too. So at least we're qualified enough there. It's 19% faster. Awesome. And let's take care of our scientists. Let's give them a rest. Boom. And boom. Awesome. Then I'll probably research, where is it going to be? Amenities, yeah. So like better modules or whatever. Yeah, meet in medium amenities too, basic amenity modules and general amenity modules, nature and luxury and adventure right there too. So definitely need to research that, but our staff is kind of busy right now. So that'll be something to do here in just a minute. But for right now, let's look at this map. Let me make sure, uh, whoops, that's the wrong map. This map right here, management views. <laughs> And yeah, you can see it's red right here. So it's what I was talking about just a minute ago, sitting down like amenities like right here, specifically for the guided tour. And like, well, right here's the viewing gallery. So it probably makes more sense, honestly, to place it here. Yeah, especially because of how blood red it is. Yeah. And then same thing with the toilets. Yeah, I need to set a, uh, I don't know, probably another one right here and then another one all the way over here by the hotel. We'll be good to go. Yeah, that's going to help out quite a bit, you guys. So let's set that up. Oh, yeah, a large hotel. Yeah, I was going to research at. Where is that? How much does it cost and stuff? Okay, I just need to, yeah, we could do that, nine, nine, I could hire more scientists as well, we're at 16 million, I could hire one more, let me see, do we have a logistics, oh, we have cheaper research over here, faster read, two cheaper research, two faster research, people. three faster research, three cheaper and three faster research people, they really want me to start research stuff, don't they, <laughs> well, at least we'll be nice and prepared for that, right, but this guy's kind of generous right here with three, three, and two, this one's two, two, four, four, two, two, very similar there, you know? I just don't know if I'd rather have cheaper or faster research, you know? Yeah, they're all about the same, like 233 three and 32 two and 222, two, you know? But right now, I think we're at 12, 12, 12 on uh, technical and all these total skills up here. So it doesn't really matter who I get because uh, we're, we're kind of equal right now. We don't really need to start working towards anything. If anything, maybe logistics. Someone who's better at logistics because we're doing a lot of research in the first. So it'd probably be this guy, yeah. 
So we'd have 16, 14, 14. Yeah, and then we get the cheaper research alongside that. Yeah, I guess we'll hire you. So there you go. He's going to be our sixth scientist. Yeah, yeah. Let me just wait here because we have scientists waiting and, and other ones getting. Oh, yeah, because we're getting the flyers, the flying reptiles. Let's actually get that set up over here with an aviary. So where are we going to put an aviary dome? So I placed one there. Could I place? I could probably move that emergency shelter or whatever. This one there. Maybe and place another one there. Awesome. So now we have a huge aviary over here. Still have some room up here for another uh, carnivore, so that's good. I could even expand it even more there, golly. But yeah, look at that. So now I have a uh, triangular aviary and a triangular lagoon, which, by the way, I kind of want to check while they're building that in the background. Let's see. Oh, wow, I clicked on I, I just clicked randomly right there, but that still worked. Looks like they need just a little bit more, which I did say. I think I'm able to expand it out a little. Wait, did they cover this in their chair? Well, it looks okay. At least he's going over here to discover that, so that's good. Let's speed it up. He's swimming over there to discover all that and hopefully expand out the territory and make the uh, open space. Path not connected. Oh, yeah, I can see Avery. I, I still need to set that up. But yeah, so we, he has the whole thing scouted out now and he's still kind of red a little bit, but he's at 92 percent, which is still good. But let's go. Let's go set up the uh, aviary. Oh, wait, no, it was the emergency shelter. Yeah, you need to place emergency shel sh emergency shelters and uh, mushrooms and all that kind of stuff because I had to leave that restroom just a minute ago. Let me get that set up here in just a minute, as well as set up a uh, viewing galleries and stuff up here for this too. Guided tour. Yeah, the guide tour, I think, I think in the other uh, cast series in our area, I would have put the, or like a tart tour, something like that, guided tour, into the aviaries. Don't think it's able to go into the lagoon though, but I, I don't know if I'll set it up to go into the aviaries, probably just, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, pr probably fine, honestly, with the aviary hatchery, which we could put, that will be pretty good, I'll probably end up putting it like there, but I feel like the Viewing gallery would probably be better there as well. Let's see. Where in the world is? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> Hold on. Here is aviary viewing gallery. Twist it around. Oh, wow. Actually, yeah. It seems like it's better in one of the corners like this. Yeah, look at that. You can barely see it. But this this covers pretty much the whole, in a whole entire area, which is great. So there you go. Awesome. And uh, let's actually set down the hatchery as well. So we can actually set up the... Uh... Yeah, you know what? I'll probably put it like right here. That way it's pretty easy for the uh, rangers to get into there. So there you go. And uh, it's connected up to power, I believe, so don't need to worry about that. I'll just, all I need to do is set up a pathway and boom. Looks like we're good to go, you guys. Awesome. And uh, smooth out the land as well, because golly, does it look trash right now? Uh, is there anything else I was going to set up over here? Oh, yeah, the lagoon to make it slightly bigger. The aviary, we never really had any problems with it being that size over there in the uh, previous scenarios or whatnot. But the lagoon here with the four, four I think there's four plesiosaurs in there. It needs to be slightly bigger, which means... Constructed by PLE. Oh, yeah, please, you And Tiago Rock, too, so I have to get rid of some rocks there. But I could definitely expand it out there, right? Especially because it's going to be uh, covered by this. So I look at this. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. This, this is fine. Yeah, let's, let's actually set that up. So there you go. Constructed by the Marine Fish Feeder. Beep. Move it. Sure. Just move it for right now. Put it right there. For right now. It's still going to be near the viewing gallery, but uh, that, that should be fine to at least, you know, get it out of the way so I can actually place down the lagoon over here. Oh, wow, I can place it down right there. Boom. Awesome. I thought some plesiosaurs were going to be in the way, but no. <laughs> Looks like we're lucky right there, you guys. Awesome. We'll probably put down some amenities right here like I wanted to do. Oh, park ratings. Four and a little bit of a fifth star right there. Not bad. Plus 89% compared to last month. Not bad. I love how there's zero lawyer fee. That's great. <laughs> Always love to see that, right? But uh, let's continue looking at the... Uh, and also, wow, those sci whenever those scientists are done uh, resting, need to do research on more modules and whatnot. So six Meridactylus, we got, oh man, we only got three of them right there. Probably need to do some training or some sort of an upgrade for our expedition team to have a better chance with that, right? But at least we have the aviaries already done. Let's transport them right now. Unlike earlier with the, uh, I think, oh yeah, they're yelling at me about the paths. Whatever, not that big of a deal. Let's put them in there, there, and there. Awesome, so hopefully that's going to cover up. And then yeah, let's set up a ranger team to, uh, there you go, cool. Two status checks right there, awesome. So we're going to be pretty well set up right there, I believe. And let's set up a, uh... I'm like, I left room over here intentionally for a guest attraction thing, and... So where is that? Do we even have that right now? Large amenity? Large no. I think so, but, uh... It's probably somewhere else. Oh, yeah, it's attractions, so it's going to be... Yeah, I need to research it first. Man! All right, well... Yeah, let's research that. I'm like, it's going to be done pretty fast with our uh, really highly trained... Yeah, look at that. 41% faster. It's going to be done in a minute. Amazing. Uh, but there you go. Awesome. So we're going to get that done, and... Start researching some of the modules here in just a bit as well, and hopefully we start making some great money here in just a bit, you guys. So set these up. Let's get let's get a cool pathway going like this. Oh yeah, an emergency shelter too. Yeah, let's put in a restroom thing like right there. That that should be fine. Yeah, that, that's that's good there. Set up emergency shelter over here too. Don't know how close it has to be though for the uh, the guests. Yes. Yeah, look at how red it is right there. I, I guess if we put it like say right here, and that's still going to be enough room to put the uh, 
whatever that is right there, right? But there you go. Probably upgrade that to a large hotel once I have the uh, ability to start researching that. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Let's move that right there. I don't think I can squeeze anything else in right there, but yeah, whenever that's done, I guess I'll put a, uh, I'll move it right here. That was kind of out of the way, and I have more room over here for whatever else, right? But I think we're pretty well set up right here. Awesome. And our, yeah, our science is just finished, and then guest attraction just finished as well, so we can build that right here. Right, let's put it about right here. That way we have a reason for our guests to come over here, right? But there you go. Boom. Awesome. And, uh, attraction. Yeah, we only have the cinema, so might as well just choose that. We have to research other modules for that, but, uh. Let's go and get the job done just fine right here. Are they at 100%? They are awesome. They're right on the line of the area. Population is good. Open space is great at 100%. And look, there's the drone right there for the Rangers checking up on them. Submersible drone. Awesome. Look at that lens flare. <laughs> this is really good. We have a really good setup right here, you guys. Amazing. Four plesiosaurs. All different colors, it looks like. Wait, what was that purple one right there? Hold on. Which one is that? Is it this one? Yeah, look at that color. Wow. It's like a maroon or a purple or something. You can't really tell with it. Yeah, look at, look at the belly. Even the belly's kind of purple there. Pinkish purple. Huh. Look at that. Guess the trash module one available. I have to research that first, don't I? Yeah, if I want to get other one, if, if I want to build a second guest attraction thing, but I think we're fine right now, but I will research amenity modules, which is going to be this. Yes. So hopefully we make more money. Uh, there you go. So there you go. Awesome. Because uh, that's, that's the main thing that we're worried about over here. That's the way we get five stars is to get money. Yeah, see, we need to have 550,000 income per minute to get enough five stars. We're, we're less than 100,000 away from that. So we're we're getting up there. We're, we're definitely getting up there. 44 out of 44 dinosaurs visible right now, which is amazing. Look at how much it shot up right there. We've got those plesiosaurs horses. It's going to start shooting up even more once we get more uh, flyers for this aviary, I'm sure. Right. We just need to get the offer for that. But oh, yeah, I'm missing. But yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Why do I always forget to put water and, and food and stuff in these enclosures? <laughs> these guys are probably complaining about me. Uh, let's put some water like this, this, kind of like another mini triangle inside, and of course put a please or a uh, piciferous feeder or whatever. Wait, hold on. I have to research it first, don't I? Man! Yeah, I do. Man! All right, well, let's place down some rocks for them to just kind of perch on, I suppose. Man, I'm, there you go. Uh, let's do it over here by the viewing gallery because they love to perch on top of the rocks. So let's do this. There you go. Oh yeah, let's research our food first. Don't want to forget about that. Don't want to let these guys starve. <laughs> let's go to the uh, science center. I don't even know where that is. There it is. Let's research their food, which is kind of weird because it gave me that other thing earlier just for free. Yeah, there's right there. Pisceful feeder. Yeah, it looks like our scientists aren't able to do that right now. Man, nine wellness. Do I even have nine wellness with a? Uh... I guess I have to wait a, a minute for the additional module thing, and I can't get it better. Scientists, because we're maxed out. Yeah, and we can't train them either because I have to research that first too. <laughs> Man. All right, well, at least we're, uh, none of these guys are going to need a rest, so, yeah, we just have to play the waiting game, but, waiting game there, no MVU, so, oh, yeah, I forgot to assign MVU as well, yeah, don't want to assign, uh, you do want to assign MVU as well as Rangers to these, so that, and, I guess I never did that, too, yeah, there you go, and, uh, to the aviary as well, cool, and they're, yeah, they're maxed out at 5 out of 5 right now, so I need to build a second one here if I want to do more stuff, but I think we're pretty well set up right now, whoa, where's your message, what is this from? Uh, Mutable Destroy. I don't, I'd have to like expand out the herbivore areas, but we do need literally six more dinos to finish. Yeah, we're at 44 right now. I could just kind of push the hotel back. Yeah, which I said I wanted to research a bigger hotel too. I might be like jinxing myself here, but we haven't been attacked in a little while. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get attacked anytime soon. Maybe, yeah, you know what? I, I should probably set up my defenses some more. We have wrestler defenses right here. Yeah, mark and trap wrestlers. These heat detector and flashbang trap. I don't know. Like, I feel like we have a decent setup right now. It's just that, like, say, like, over here, we need to have some more. Yeah, you know what? That's the heat detector thing. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll put it, like, right here. Put some traps a little bit closer to the wall. Yeah, like that. Maybe put another one over here. Just because it seems like a weak spot. And I haven't done any, uh, anyways. So there you go. And if they go through the trees, then, uh, I don't know what to do in that scenario. Uh, I guess I could put some down like this. Like that. There you go. And we'll be notified of them. And I, I guess we could put... Ooh, whoops. Wait, why, why can't I place this down? That's probably because of the slope. Yeah, I think it's because of the slope. Man! Ah, I kind of want to have a thing here, but... At least we'll be able to detect them there. And I guess we could put another one here. Oh, yeah, that's outside a buildable area there. I guess that's what that is there. Is there any other... Uh, I guess I could put one, one like right here, but... I feel like I'd know if they got over there, right? But... I, or maybe, yeah, you know, I could put one all the way back here. Yeah. There we go. Cool. And we have one more heat sensor, heat detector, and three more flashbang traps. I don't know where to put those, though. Man. Yeah. 
I, I think we're pretty well set up right now. At least I remember that, right? But anyways, is there anything else I need to do here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we have time going in the background. I thought I had to pause right there. Yep. Let's research that thing though, just so we can actually feed our uh, flyers there. There you go. Hopefully we're uh, overqualified. We can actually get this done as fast as possible. Yeah, 225. Yeah, it's going to be a little while, unfortunately, until they actually get their heckin' food. But other than their food, is there anything else that they need inside of here? Man, it's dark. I wish I could set, some, set up some lights. I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah, it's paused. Let's see. It's missing fish. Yeah, I know. You're at 80. No, 66% comfort. You don't need any trees or anything. Oh, wow. He's trying to break out. Golly. Hold on. Can the Rangers, like, repair that? Golly. At least it's not a helicopter crashing into that, right? <laughs> Unidentified man! Now you're not. Well, at least I have the MVU set up to automatically go over there, right? But yeah, we just kind of have to play the waiting game, like I said. And wait. Whoa! Okay. Holy heck, rustler activity detected. I'm glad I set up for some rustlers just a minute ago. Now, where are they? Do I know where they're at? Do, do we have them detected? Oh, another one's been detected? Where? Wait, over here? Oh, yeah, these guys are injured. Oh, he escaped! No! No, they broke out again! <laughs> no! Man, structure damage! I'm getting you guys' food! Just settle down! Flashbang trap has been uh, set off. Oh my gosh. Things are going downhill quickly here, you guys. Knock these guys out. No, no, knock this one out, too. He's probably gonna get... Uh... Is there a th There's a third one in here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Is he just perched up? Okay, he's up here. I don't know. Preemptively knock him out, too, I guess. <laughs> Broken claw on one of these guys. Man, this is a bad time for them to come over here and, and rustle my jimmies. Because now we have dinosaurs actually just flying reptiles escaping, right? <sighs> Hold on, where are they? Multiple dinosaurs are. Yeah, well, the capture team's hopefully set up to get them, right? Man, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh the nice. I actually got him there, like, immediately. <laughs> he landed on top of a building there. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. You need to come over here and repair this, like, all right now. Golly. There we go. And then I need to get some other rangers to defend off an attack over here. I just don't know where it is. At least I have the walls kind of protect. Oh, fence broken. But where? Over here. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, they broke in there. Wait, what? Where did they? Oh, man. All right, well, at least we have rangers right here. Hold on, direct control. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's break in, let's, let's go in. Yeah, let's not go in through that. Let's go in over here so I can could, I could patch it up behind me, make sure no dinos escape. And uh, we'll, we'll scare them off, but I think if I remember correctly while look, editing last episode or one of the previous episodes, whoop, there you go. Come on, run them over, dinos. Run them over. I'm trying, I'm trying to scare them out of here. Oh, he, he's giving up. He's getting attacked by the big old tails of these Oh, Patasaurus! Oh, yeah, and he's going to break out! Yeah, see, even if you, like, knock him into submission there, they, they still try and break out. I, I need to break down their whole entire truck, but I'm stuck between a giant tail and one of these guys. <laughs> I'm stuck. No, he broke it down again! This is what I'm talking about. They're still able to do it. Gate failure. All right, well, get the heck out of here and stay out! There you go. Golly. Okay, wh where's all this other shenanigans happening at? <laughs> up here! They broke in up here. I was just in here, man. All right, well, let's get back in. Oh my gosh, that's. Well, yeah, that's me. Okay, I need to repair this this gate, this wall over here too. There you go. Repair in progress. Okay, good. Ah, if you go in there and scare them out again, get out of the way, everyone. Get out of the way. Okay, well at least at least the timer or whatever for the uh, wrestlers. Yep. So it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Okay, I, th I thought our jeep broke down right there, but I guess it's just too steep for some reason. Oh, Pisafor. Okay, yeah. You know what? Pause right now. <laughs> Let's go get that built. So there's some, uh, there we go, Pisa 4 Feeder. There you go, and this guy's, uh, just kind of knocked out, just sitting there, so, uh, just pick him up and put him back in here, I guess. Why is it yelling at me, not, or same area? What? Man! I don't know, just, I guess just leave him there, I guess. <laughs> He's gonna drown, It's not letting me, like, pick him up and just immediately put him down again, unfortunately. But anyways, is there anything else I need to take care of? Well, MVU should be taking care of him already, but let's go back over here. Back onto this. Take care of these over here. Oh, wait, they leaving? I think they are. Well, if that's the case, I still need to uh, reboot the gate on the way out. Is that working? Why is that not working? Fix the gate! Dinosaur with a sprain, man! Okay, there you go, that's, that's been fixed. Kind of like a chase these guys down, but they're way too far away now, man! Ah! I, I need to set up some more defense. I don't know if you could research any better defenses, or like just more of them, because they limit on how many you can actually use, unfortunately. See, I'm maxed out on a lot of these right here. Yeah, I, I need to set up some uh, some defenses like right here, just casually, you know. Yeah, like right here, like in the middle of the trees. That should that should be good. Maybe maybe set some up like I don't know, because it came in. Probably put that like right here and then right there. That that should be good. Just kind of cover some areas, you know. Maybe another one like there. You go, sure. 
That's kind of a very specific area, but now I don't have any more room, unfortunately. This kind of looks like a Las Vegas sign with the lights around it. Something I just noticed right there randomly. <laughs> Uh, you guys specifically, fix this. There's a giant hole in the roof. <laughs> Can you fix that, golly? All right. So hopefully that's going to be good. Check on the ones that are inside here if there still is. Oh, wait, there is. I hear him flapping his wings. Oh, here he is. Okay. Hungry, panicking, food. Well, there's a feeder inside of there now, so you should be good to go. And then stamina. There's plenty of rocks for you to rest and perch on top of, so hopefully you're good to go. Man, I can just barely see these guys because it's like permanently nighttime right now, but hopefully they're fine. Yeah, you know, everything here is good. It's at 100%. It's just that he, he kind of needs to recover, you know? But at least everything else is taken care of. Plenty of area. Population is good. Fish feeder right there. Water is good. Open space. They don't need any trees for some reason. Whoa! What is this? More of a pseudo Man, I'm going to decline that. I don't need any more of the same dinos right now. Uh, but I do need more aviary or... I don't even know if we have... Do we have room to get more... Uh... Oh, what in the world? We have a disease outbreak over here. What is that? Do we know what the... Tuberculosis. Okay, we need to research that. But there you go. Tuberculosis was research that with our best scientist. So it's going to be you. And that guy's kind of overworked right now. So that's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, I can only use two scientists right now. Man. All right. Well, at least this is going to, still going to be done in like literally 18 seconds. So let's get that going in the background. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, give the other scientists a bit of a rest real quick as well. Because they are kind of getting up there, right? Oh, we're just one of them, I guess. There you go. Cool. Aspect awesome. And then we'll get the MVU to give the cure to those Gallimimuses before they uh, spread too much, right? We, we should probably... Oh, man, it's spreading again. There's four of them now. Okay, well they're, they're doing it automatically, which is good. Yeah, dispatch automatically to deal with dinosaur health issues. So, yeah, at least we have the cure for that setup, which is great. Uh, just just kind of feeling like we might need another MVU. Just because they're they're kind of overworked right now, if you think about it. Uh, but now our part rating's down to 2.1 out of 5 stars, unfortunately. So, hopefully we can start recovering here. But in the meantime, yeah, we have more uh, things over here, which is good. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's re research the bigger hotel too, the large hotel. Let's do that because we did have uh, issues just a minute ago with them complaining about like guest capacity or whatever, right? So let's actually research that if we can. Yes, large hotel. Awesome. So let's go to you guys right there. Awesome. Let's get that researched and then just replace this small hotel with a large hotel here in just a minute. All right. I think I have this set up pretty well right here at three stars right now, which is decent. We're making 5,000 profit from that uh, bento sushi right there. This, this was like donuts, so I had to change it over to uh, smoothies. And uh, we're making some great money right here for thousand with only one module inside of there, which is good. Because if you had, oh, whoa, whoa, looks like we're starting to make more money from the mount, the fountain right there as well. Oh, whoa, seven thousand, whoa, seven thousand with a fish tank. That's insane. Wow, we're making some great money right there. Let me see if we can make more money right here, though, from uh, changing these out to anything else. Oh, no more uh, sources of tuberculosis in the park. That's great. Wow, we're at 4.6 out of 5 stars right now, you guys. That's insane. Our money jumped up a bunch right there, you guys. Holy heck. It's mainly just from me customizing this over here, I'm sure, right? Golly. Let's actually set this hotel up over here to be a large hotel. I don't know, maybe move this one specifically and then just kind of build a large hotel in its place. So, I don't know, where should I put this? Oh, I can put, oh, I can put it right here, right across the street from the uh, arrival point. This is like perfect right here, you guys. Yeah. I guess we'll do that. No, no dinosaur visibility, unfortunately, but at least we're still uh, benefiting from it, right? So there you go. Benefiting from the uh, extra accommodation that does. So let's actually replace that with a large hotel over here, which is going to be this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at how huge that dinosaur visibility is right there, you guys. That's amazing. Uh, let's place that about right here. Blip. There you go. Awesome. I'm setting down a path. Then whenever they finish, that should be good. Then uh, we should have more ability to have more people in the park and therefore more money and whatnot, right? Uh, but I do want to look at the other management views and see, uh, is there anything restroom? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I never rebuilt the restrooms over here. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry, guests. Hold on. Let me build another restroom over here. Oh, what in the world? Do I really want to build this, like, right there? That's going to look disgusting. I guess I could try it. Nope. Oh, gosh. Oh, urgent message. Whoa, what happened? More mud butter. I already declined that earlier. Man, stop telling me about the mud butter. Oh, jeez. Look at how much that just... It's like a big bump just appeared out of nowhere right there. Are you kidding me? It looks like trash. All right, smooth that out a little bit. Hopefully make it look a little bit better. It's getting smoothed out and the frame rate got cut in half, but hey, at least it's not as severe of a slope as it was just a minute ago, but it still looks kind of goofy. <laughs> oh, but at least we have the restroom set up right there. Let me look at the other uh, management views, see if there's anything else I need to set up over here. We have, yeah, we have plenty of shopping coverage there. If anything, a little bit of drink coverage right there. And a little bit of food coverage right there, and we'll be good to go. And I did say I was going to put something across the street from this. So, yeah, there, there's plenty of room for me to put some shops right there and make a little bit more money and get that much closer to the five stars, right? 
And if we look at this, we have 214 out of 226 guests, so that's good. We have all the uh, capacity there we never need. We're at 526,000 out of 550,000. Wow, making some really good progress there, you guys. Awesome. Let me look at the management views if there's anything else that needs to be taken care of here. Oh, yeah, there's one spot. Yeah, I'll, I'll squeeze in the bathroom right there. Probably put more shops right there, and then we'll probably hit the five stars, honestly. Boop. There you go. Cool. Man, I love how the restroom is so small. It can squeeze into small little, tiny little places like that right there. All right, I'm going to build some amenities over here. Don't know if I need them here, honestly. But, uh, oh, and uh, improved amenities just finished up right there, which is cool. Uh, but I guess, I guess I'll put them, like, right here. This, this should be fine. Yeah, let me at least switch this out for food and drink and shopping and whatnot. Oh, where's your message? What's it going to be? Comp Ooh, nine compies. Yes, please. That's going to get our dinosaur number up substantially there, you guys. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, Mudaburrosaurus. And there's the compies. Okay, yeah, let's get the compies. Oh, I can't use that guy, unfortunately, but I don't need him. Okay, cool. Let's give him a bit of a rest anyways. Then everyone else is going to get the compies and they're going to be done in about a minute. But there was what, seven, nine compies right there? I think nine copies, so... Yeah, if we just get like, we only need six of them, so if we can get six of them right here, yeah, we're going to be able to finish this uh, pretty quickly because I'm hoping to get our money up here in just a minute by uh, setting up these shops. Oh, yeah, wow, look at all these things. I could Wow, 6,000. Look at all these different like things, fossilized ammonite. Man, we're going to make some amazing money. 11,000 with that fish tank, golly. 15,000 with a fossil display, oh my gosh. I want to make sure the rare sources. Would they be fine with the copies? They would be. Okay, good. And then, uh, oh, oh, how many do we get? Nine of them found, but seven of them. Whoa, okay, that's perfect. Awesome. Yeah, transport. I'm not going to transport all of them. Actually, I might. Yeah, I might just put them all here in the uh, Ceratosaurus here. I'm pretty sure he's. Oh, whoops. Oh, man, I just delayed it right there by two minutes, man. I wanted, I just wanted to check him out. Yeah, he was fine with him, man. I didn't, I didn't, can I cancel that? I, I, I want to move them right now and finish up this mission. <laughs> we're at 4.7 stars right now. Amazing, good money. See if we can change this over. Yeah, we're losing money on this shop, unfortunately. Man, like if I, if I just delete this, like my income's going to go up, right? Because I'm losing money on it. Yeah, we're at 4.8. Yeah, negative 5k on this one. Golly. Yeah, if I just, if I just deactivate them, not even demolish them, just deactivate them. I should be good to go, right? <sighs> Man, I'd hate to do it. Yeah, let's just deactivate. <laughs> there you go. So hopefully our uh, actual profits go up. Yeah, we're at 4, 524. We just need to hit 515. If I get rid of these, I could probably hit it, honestly. <laughs> then also uh, just kind of wait for the copies to be delivered. We'll put them all in here, I suppose. It's going to be fine, I'm sure. I'm like, it's just one Ceratosaurus. There's four Ceratosaurus over here. That's why it's kind of like, okay, here we go. That's why it's kind of like, eh, I don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't want to put them all in the same enclosure as like four other critters, right? So we're at 49. Really? 49? Wait, what? I thought we were going to be at 50, or like, oh, over 50. Well, what was this? Maybe per Paris for all of us? Golly. I don't know, maybe, maybe I can do that and then just accept one and then we'd be good, I guess. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll go over there and get the Paris for all of us. I'm like, I always just sell them afterwards, right? Like, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> this guy savaged me to say out loud like that, golly. Yeah, we're only 4.5 uh, stars, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, they got the Paris Royal Office super fast right there. Five out of six of them captured. Amazing. I get, I'm like, we already have 10 of them. Jeez. Like, just transfer. Oh, wait, no, we're at 50 right now. What? Uh, sell. Oh, it's not letting me sell them. Man. <laughs> I don't know. Lay them down over here anyways. There you go. I, I, I guess I'll lay them down. There you go. I guess you can't have too many dinos, huh? So there you go. Awesome. Probably should have put them over there in, their, uh, in view of the hotel and whatnot, but I just need to get my income up a little bit more. Profit up. So I don't know. Either either make money or, or cut things that are bleeding money, right? 19704 right there. Oh my gosh. Let me keep modifying these uh, modules over here and hopefully make it as much money as possible. Oh, oh, oh. We did it. We got, <laughs> we're getting attacked by rustlers. The rustlers, the dinosaurs are safe. I think this has been a, a far different experience than my usual interaction with dinosaurs. So, you're saying it was worth it? I think he's trying to say he actually had fun. Yeah, I think I did. Ah, <sighs> Alan Grant, you continue to surprise me. No, Ellie. It is hard, you know, to compete with dinosaurs for your attention. You never had to. I have to admit, what you've been able to accomplish here is a sight to behold. We're a heck of a team. We are. And we'll have to continue to work together because these dinosaurs are counting on us for their survival. That's right. 
Just to make sure they don't escape out of the aviaries and whatnot, right? And yeah, like that, the wrestlers are up on mid. That's what I was saying. Like, right when we got a uh, wrestler attack, we hit the five stars and the 50 dinos thing and finish up that mission, which is hilarious. <laughs> you might have seen the background. We actually had the red icons yelling at us, too, with the wrestlers. <laughs> but anyways, wrestler activity detected for another minute and a half and prevent more than 12 dinosaurs from being stolen. Well, thankfully, I don't think they really affected anything. Uh, hold on, so where are they? Oh, right here. Oh, okay, they're right next to the rangers. So I think they should get stung, stung by that, right? Or stunned. By that, I think. And then another one right there, too. So that's going to be two of them. Yeah, we know where both of them are, but I just don't know where these rangers are right here. We should be able to take it. Wow. Wait, what? Transmission. Hey, mission complete. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Does this let me go back into the game? Okay, it did. Okay. Whew. I was about to say. But yeah, it looks like there, there's the rangers right there. Yeah, let, let me direct control and then back up. Leave. Because it looks like we stunned both and we got a train of... uh. What do you call him? Dino tour right there, just kind of waiting. Let's, let's go out the gate. Thankfully, I placed this right here. Very convenient. We have one like right here. And I think it stuns them. I don't know how long it keeps them stunned, but it stuns them for a decent amount of time for us to come over here and take care of them, right? Ba boom! Just hit them one. Oh no, 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 that one over there. Hold on, hold on. He's still stunned. No! Man, we got two of them right here. <sighs> well, we do have the uh, upgraded fences and stuff. I just don't know if that's even helping, you know? Let me go back. That way I can build up speed in both directions. And they're, they're shooting at the dinos and stuff. Wow, amazing. He's raising his white flag. Awesome. So once we take care of these rustlers, we can probably end off the uh, Chaos Series scenario, huh? Because we, we got everything else done. Boom! No, the fence broken. Repair, 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 repair. Repair is in progress. Awesome. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, jeez. I'm in first. Wait, whoops. Which button did I hit right there? <laughs> hit the camera button, unfortunately. And... Ugh, and stay out, trash. <laughs> All right. Any more uh, rustlers? I think so. Hold on. Get out of this. Get out of that. Pause the game. Figure out where uh, any more rustlers might be. I don't see any. Repairing and remaining damage to ensure that your rustler defenses are in the most effective. Okay, well, I think we're fine, honestly. Triggers or resets in 15 seconds. Okay, so that's what that icon is, and this is still deactivated. I think we're good. I think we held off that rustler attack pretty well right there, you guys. Not bad. Awesome. So what are we at right now? We're back to 521,000. I had like four and three quarters hearts right there. <laughs> but hey, at least we we uh, hit the five stars while having 50 dinosaurs. At least we finished that. And we'll have to worry about that, right? But uh, I guess we finished up the scenario right there. And at the very end, hey, we fended off another uh, set of wrestlers, right? So I guess that's one way to end off the scenario. So hey, I guess we'll end it off right here. And then if they have any more stuff come out, I guess we can do another Chaos Theory. But... I do know there is another campaign that they added for Jurassic World Dominion, so that's definitely something to look forward to here in the future. So it's not like I'm going to stop uploading Jurassic World Evolution 2 just yet, uh, so definitely look forward to that, because I know you guys have been commenting about that, saying I should play it, so we'll definitely have to do that here. And I don't know how long that one is. Uh, both all three of these guys are on top of this thing right here. I have all these rocks that you guys decide to perch on top of the viewing gallery. <laughs> At least you get up close and personal with all the guests there, right? So I guess I can't complain. We're at 21 million in the bank. Hey, that, that's perfect. There's that number at the very end, right? 20 point. Oh, there you go. There's 21 million. Okay. Guess that's just my sign to end off this. Go to the main menu, all that kind of stuff, right? So let me just save the game real quick. There we go. Awesome. And I guess we can say goodbye to all these dinos here. And, and, and plesiosaurs, where are they at? Sort of check up on them. Whenever they're all underwater and whatnot. But look at this guy. Cool. There's like leaves or something like that over there. Awesome. Let's look at the other ones, too. Another one there. I think we have, what, four of them in here? Three, four, four or six of them. Oh, there's that one right there, that, like, purple one. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have four of them in here. And now we cycled back. Okay, cool. Urgent message again. Whoa, what's it going to be? Another mid triceratops. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to decline that, at least for right now. But, hey, I think we did a pretty decent job here, you guys. Not bad. Like, we started out with Owen Grady's, like, area that was, like, basically all of this. And we expanded it to have an aviary there and then drain some of the water over here to build a lagoon. So we drained water, put more water back down. <laughs> put a large hotel over there, some rangers over there, and lots of rustler defenses and whatnot. I like it. I think we did a good job here, you guys. I like it. Well, once again, a relatively short chaos theory, but hey, I still had fun and I hope you guys did too. So anyways, let's go to the main menu and I guess read about what that campaign is, right? There you go. So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 comes out. Where, like I said, probably going to go over here to the campaign and do the Dominion Campaign Biosyn. 
which I know it's been like a month and a half or so since it came out, but hey, better late than never, right? <laughs> Experience the story of Biosyn Genetics from wannabe to world leader. Luce Dodgson looks to go further than ever before, seeking the most accurate dinosaurs ever brought back to life. Spoiler warning refers to events from Jurassic World Dominion, yeah. So hey, if you guys haven't seen that yet, uh, I believe it's for rental on YouTube. So hey, if I come out with uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 Dominion Campaign Biosyn, <laughs> man, these names are just getting longer and longer. Uh, campaign, like pilot episode, and you guys haven't seen the movie yet, then hey, make sure you're nice and prepared for that so you don't get any spoilers. And remember, we still have this challenge mode over here. Oh, we did a pilot episode for it, so I guess we'll see in a poll which one you guys would rather see, more challenge mode or the Biosyn campaign. Most likely the Biosyn campaign, just if you ask me. It probably makes more sense to do that first because it's probably going to be shorter than the challenge mode anyways, right? So we can kind of knock that out of the way and then move on to the challenge mode after the fact. And of course, down here, you can see Chaos Series at 100% now, which is amazing. I love how this whole entire screen is filled up. With 100% here, there's no dead spot over here where we're waiting for the next movie and whatnot because we just finished it up right there. Jurassic World Dominion. Awesome. So anyways, I already did the outro like two minutes ago. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in the Dominion Campaign Biosyn pilot episode. Oh, bye there. <laughs>